Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to find the covariance of two random variables given their joint PDF. Let's suppose that x and y have joint PDF f of x, y is one half e to the negative x e to the negative y plus two e to the negative two x times the quantity three e to the negative three y if x and y are positive. Let's find the covariance between x and y. So recall, what we'll need to know is we'll need to use the fact, so we recall that the covariance of x and y is the expected value of x times y minus the expected value of x times the expected value of y. And we have the PDFs, so we can simply integrate these things. So, if I wish to find the expected value of x times y, this will be the integral from 0 to infinity, the integral from 0 to infinity of x times y times the PDF. And I'll hold that 1 half out in front of everything over there. And then I'll have e to the minus x, e to the minus y, plus 2 e to the minus 2x times 3 e to the minus 3y dx dy. And ordinarily, this would be complex looking, but we can make the following observation. We can say that I can do x times e to the x and y times e to the y, and then add that to 2 times x e to the negative 2x and 3 times y e to the negative 2y separately. So what we'll have is we'll have integrals of this form. So we'll have a 1 half on front of everything then the integral from zero to infinity of x e to the negative x dx times the integral from zero to infinity of y e to the negative y dy. And I'll add to that plus one half the integral from zero to infinity of two x e to the negative two x dx times the integral from 0 to infinity of 3y e to the negative 3y dy. And while all these integrals look complex, we can just note that this is the mean of an exponential random variable with parameter 1. And the same over here. So this integral over here is just going to be 1. This integral over here will just be 1. And this is the mean of an exponential random variable with parameter 1 half. So the mean of this is just going to be 1 half. And the mean of this will just be 1 third. So all together this will be 1 plus 1 half times 1 third, which will be at 1 sixth. So I'll have 7 sixths times a half. So this will be 1 half times 7 over 6, or 7 over 12. Now we'll compute the individual expected values. So the expected value of x will be 1 half, the integral from 0 to infinity, the integral from 0 to infinity of just x times the PDF, e to the negative x, e to the negative y, plus I'll just write a 6, e to the negative 2x, e to the negative 3y, dx dy. Using the same argument as before, we see this will be 1 half, and then we'll have the integral from 0 to infinity of x e to the negative x dx times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative y dy plus the integral from 0 to infinity of 6. Well, we'll put that 6 in front of both of them, so we can write this 6 really as 2 times 3 x e to the negative e to the negative x 
dx integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative 3y dy. And now this is the mean of an exponential random variable for parameter 1. So this is 1, this is 1. So together again, that's 1. So I'll have a 1 half and then a 1. Plus, this is the mean of an exponential random variable with parameter 1 half. So I'll get a 1 half over there. And then a 1 from this, because it's an exponential random variable. And so I'll have 3 halves in parentheses. So I'll have a 1 half times 3 halves. And that will be a 3 quarters. And 3 quarters is the same as 9 over 12 for just calculational purposes. And the expected value of y, we can compute similarly. We can just do it like this. This will be 1 half. And then I'm going to have a y times this, which will give me a 1. So that first integral term will give me a 1 if I have a y there. If I look at the second term, I'm going to have the mean of this exponential random variable with parameter 3. So that will be 1 times 1 third. So inside parentheses, I have 4 thirds. So this is 1 half times 4 thirds, or 4 over 6. <clears throat> or that's the same thing, it's just going to be 2 thirds. So altogether, we can put this together now and find out the covariances. So now, the covariance of x and y will be the, exp uh, the expected value of the product, which we found to be 7 twelfths, minus we have this 3 quarters over here for the expected value of x. And we have this 2 thirds, the expected value of y. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 7 over 12 minus 6 over 12. And that just gives me 1 12 as the covariance of these two random variables. So while the integrals looked complex to perform, it was essential to notice that they were in fact exponential random variables, and all the moments of exponential random variables are known. That provides an easy way to do the calculations. Thank you very much.